end it. Yes. Hey, Dr. Plant, welcome. Hey, thanks for having me. Always a pleasure. I love it. In the middle of the day, you bring hundreds of people. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I got my cameras a little wonky here, so hope, but hopefully everything's working well. <laughs> it looks perfect to me. It does. As long as your brain's engaged, I think we're good. <laughs> well, thanks. You two look spectacular as always. Good seeing you. Thank you. We're glad Happy Valentine's here. Day. It's appropriate <laughs> that it's a team interview. That's yeah, I, I tried eating these things as like a sweet tart, but apparently that's not a good idea. Yeah, my wife gave me some with the carved in there being like, you could do better, you know, like try harder. <laughs> uh, who is fired up for hair revival? Type in the chat. Who is excited? This is, you guys, this is going to be a big one for us. Big one. Yeah. I know we've got um, hundreds on here live with us and a lot are going to be um, watching this in review, which is great, getting ready for this launch on March 1st. And this is really to ignite, educate, and really just lay the foundation for what is going to be a tremendous product for really, I think, bringing in just a whole new group of people into Isogenics, which is great. It's inviting a whole new group of people into our store. Oh, absolutely. And I'm pretty jazzed about it. And I, you oh, know, yeah. I, I can't really, I can't really say too much other than I have more hair. I'm really pretty jazzed about this. I got these right after NYKO. I have been diligent two times in the morning. Well, no, two pills in the morning, two pills in the afternoon. And I'll and tell I'm you, like, one, one thing about Michael, I have to interrupt because he's very regimented. When he decides to take something, a supplement, he doesn't miss. No. He's one of those pe people with the packets of vitamins. He does not miss, Dr. Paul. I have like, no PMs at the end of the month. He has no PMs at the end of the month. <laughs> you're, you're much better than I am. There's sometimes where it's like, oh, I haven't taken it. And I'm like, load them up, load them up right now. <laughs> got it. I've got a few days to make up for. And, and I really think it was about two weeks in that he came to me, he said, Lynn, really? Like, look at my I hair. noticed it in the shower when I was shampooing. It literally, you know how it's um, wash, rinse, repeat, and they always tell you to do it twice. The second time, if you ever buy into that, it just feels different. It yeah. was like that the first time. Yeah, really a difference. That's exciting. I always wondered who that wash, rinse, repeat was meant for. I always wondered who was doing that. I read the label. That that's what it said. That's what I did. <laughs> yeah, All that's right. a huge ploy just to get you to buy twice as much shampoo. <laughs> Well, I always love a product that's a tool in our toolbox for bringing in a whole new group of people that are continue to to shop from our store. So maybe you can yeah, let's get right. well. Let's first introduce Dr. Plant. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't really, you know, need an introduction. But I I, I always come on. I you we've done a few interviews together, and you guys are like the only ones I come without the bow tie. I love just to kind of chew the fat <laughs> with you, make it casual. We call it Dr. Plant Unplugged. So I think it, it's, uh, it's appropriate. I like the casual nature of it. Chief, we'll say Chief Science Officer. Chief How Science Officer for Isogenics, graduated number one in his class at Harvard University and half the time that it normally takes. And when I heard that the very first time, I thought, eh, that's all we need to hear. He's just a book nerd. But then the more I got to know him, it's like, <laughs> he's, he's, okay. He's the real deal. Smart. Real deal. Not smart only, guy. Here's one thing I will say, just having the opportunity and really the privilege, I would say, to to be able to spend some time with him is not only does he know the science, he really understands our business. And I really right. thank you for that, Dr. Plant, because it's really the two of us together, uh, those of us in the field with corporate, and there's a synergy when we're working together where we become unstoppable. It's like a mechanic who knows how to fly the plane. You know, I mean, it's just a different depth of, of experience. And mm -hmm. it's so nice when we have this opportunity to sit down and chat. So let's really get right into it. Um, let's just start with the most basic, fundamental question. Yeah. What is it? Yeah. Uh, in a nutshell, it's confidence in a bottle. And that seems kind of weird. But this is this is something that we're all plagued with to some extent. Uh, we call it's hair revival. It is meant in, it is meant and designed and formulated to help reduce hair loss and help improve hair density. Simple as that. But really what it boils down to is we do things every day, every day that damage our hair, whether it wash twice, whether it's like using fine combs, whether it's blow drying, whether it's coloring, whether it's like, uh, you know, uh, uh, swimming, all of these things that are just absolutely damaging to our hair. We do very little love to our hair. And more often than not, it's the first thing we notice when we look in the mirror and we just constantly beat it up. And, you know, there's all of these different gimmicks that are out there 
Uh, and so this is something that we've been working on for quite some time, always looking at something that is legitimately bringing some solutions to people. Um, there's enough hope out there, but it's also important to back it up with solutions and, and systems that work. And so what we have here is this is something where you take two capsules in the morning or two tablets in the morning, two tablets in the evening, and it helps reduce hair loss and helps improve hair density as simple as that. So it's a powerful product that really gets what we need to do. We need to start showing a little bit more love to the lion's mane that we abuse so often. Well, and you think about how many people color treat their hair, just that alone oh. um, does so much damage. Just think about the people you know that do that. I mean, this is a great product to, to really help to, to care for it and to give some love to it, as you said. Yeah. Well, now, this has been an issue for a long time. You know, I mean, people from the time I was just a young man have been looking for ways to keep more of their hair. You know, we hear these crazy stories about, you know, hair transplants and just, I mean, people will go to great lengths to have a better looking head of hair. So talk a little bit about the science. What's interesting to you about this product? What's it actually doing? Yeah, you know, this is good. So I'm going to give a little bit of a lesson of what our hair does. Like we don't realize our hair has life cycles. We have these follicles. Um, and there's three different stages that these follicles live through. And I'm not expecting anybody to regurgitate this, <clears throat> right? This is, this is for the 313 people that are on this call listening right now. You're going to get a little bored out of your mind. But our hair follicles have three different stages. There's the antigen stage, which is the growth stage, right? And this will usually last about two to six years. That's why certain people can grow longer hair than others, right? Some people, it's two years then the hair falls out, right? Some it's six years and they get the long hair. Some, you know, you get some people that have exceptionally long hair. So some people would be like, well, my hair doesn't grow that long. Well, it's because that growth stage, that antigen stage is shorter. And this is largely due to, you know, genetics play a big role in that, environmental, hormonal, variety of different things. So you have that growth stage. Then all of a sudden you have this catagen stage where it says, whoa, whoa, we're just gonna kind of reset a little bit. And it's about one to two weeks where it literally takes it out of that growth stage and just kind of pauses. And then you have the, tel the telogen stage. And this is part where the hair follicle actually dies and then renews itself. Um, and so that stage can last anywhere from one to four months. So if I took a typical person's head, you would see about 85% of your hair is in that growth stage. And then about 15 to 20% is in that telogen stage. And so as we age, as we do things to our hair, what happens is that telogen stage becomes a larger portion of the amount of hair. You find more of it in the sink, it's falling out. And that growth stage becomes shorter and shorter and shorter, which is why typically as you get older, your hair doesn't grow as long, you find more of it in the sink. Till eventually, you know, some people, it gets to where that that telogen stage is so long and the growth stage is so short that we look at it as bald. And so it's really just making as much of that growth stage as possible and as much of that telogen stage or that renewing stage as short as possible. So how does the product actually do that? I mean, what is it, are they nutrients? Are we just giving the body what we didn't have? And so we're affecting those cycles? Yeah, uh, I wish there was a simple way of kind of saying, hey, we're just giving something the body lacks. In today's complicated world, we have to have as much of a defense as we have against all of these environmental impacts that have us, right? They, the way that this works is it's a combination of kind of old and new. A lot of things that you may have heard for hair that have been proven and time tested to support healthy hair, biotin, selenium, these things are in there. But really what is also separating this is a patented new ingredient that is novel, meaning it cleared, had unique properties that it cleared based upon the function and it's patented, and it's a unique extract that actually comes from the stamen of the banana flower. And so you talk about as esoteric of a scientist as you can get, you're finding different plant parts of different flowers and making unique extracts out of them. And what they found is that it is actually what a little bit of helps to mitigate the properties of DHT. DHT is a, a hormone that kind of floats around in our body that has a lot of impacts and it helps to mitigate the impact DHT has on hair loss. And DHT is what usually strives that longer telogen stage in our life, both male and in female. 
Wow. So people want to know how to spell Telogen. <laughs> Telogen, T E L O G E N. There you have it. So who's out there <laughs> taking flower things and saying, I wonder what we can do with this? All of us, all of us, all of us who didn't have friends in high school find <laughs> friends in the plants, right? So. Wow, that's really, really crazy cool. So basically the, the dosage is two in the morning. Do we need it with, I mean, you know, we're going to get the technical things. Yeah. Do I have it with my shake? Does it matter? Can I grind it up in my shake? Does it? Yes, yes, and yes. It doesn't matter. So no to that part, but you can take it with shake, you take it with food, you can grind it up. There's only one way in which this doesn't work and if it doesn't find its way into your body. So you got to get it into your body. That's the most important thing. And, 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 and candidly, right, they're, ta they're tablets. It's not the, not the easiest thing to swallow, right? I get You get a little bit used to it, but so you feel free to grind it up if you so desire. Okay. Well, and I, I thought it was interesting too when we heard that like the first 30 days, you might notice a decrease for people who have thinning hair, a decrease in the thinning. Um, and then the second 30 days, really noticing an increase in the density. Is that true? Is that kind of what people are, are saying? Correct. So there's uh, when we looked at this, we began to see it's, it's all kind of in a pre-preclinical group that we saw that there was a decrease in hair loss. And now it sounds like a double negative, but really less hair in the sink, right? Um, which would then suggest that that telogen stage is shorter and, and so forth. Now the uh, androgen stage, which allows for that longer hair growth, we, you, we start to see the impacts of that around two months. So really two months is when we'd recommend people to take this to begin seeing that impact. Um, you know, if hair growth happened overnight, it's most likely a transplant or a wig, right? This is utilizing your own follicles to do it. So uh, great way to do it, increasing that androgen stage, uh, usually start to see that around that second month. Okay, so now let's talk about how this is going to be incorporated into our existing product line because like collagen. Well, protein, first and foremost, I know mm -hmm. the hair needs protein. Mm -hmm. We know that collagen has done some nice things for people. So can you kind of, is, is this going to be like good, better, best, the product by itself, good, the product with either shake or collagen, better, the product with all three, walk us through that. Yeah. So the way that we look at this, right, the you, you can take this, we've looked at uh, stuff with this independently. We're actually in the middle of a bigger, much bigger study where we look at this in combination with collagen elixir. Um, and the reason is, is collagen is a structural component of your skin. Um, and so it helps to nourish those follicles a little bit better. Again, allowing that antigen stage, that growth stage of your hair to do it. That's why individuals might see longer hair uh, and so forth. This is a powerful one-two combination uh, with the collagen elixir. And to me, this is, this is, there's no good. There is no good. This is better. And then the best is with the collagen elixir. Oh, you're muted, but I, yeah. they're doing the Vanna White on the mute. <laughs> yeah. There okay. you go. All right. Now, you know, we have to talk to the Americans here for just, just a moment. So apologize to everyone else in the world, but just for the Americans, you know, we know that if a little is is, is okay. You know, if, if a small amount is good, then a larger amount is better. Or as I once, you know, read a quote, they said, you know, if less is more, try to imagine how much more, more would be. <laughs> and so, you know, it's two in the morning, two in the evening, but collagen, we've been told we could double dose. Yeah. You know, we know we can take one shake a day or we can take two shakes a day and we're going to get a better benefit with two. So That's a good question. is this like that where it's scalable or do we reach a, a, a level of diminishing return where we're just not going to get anything yeah. more out of the product? So you would likely get a little bit more. Now, again, we haven't looked at it specifically, but theoretically you should see yourself sitting getting uh, better results. And it's a, it's a little bit of like a diminishing returns, right? Uh, you, you'd you love to see a linear growth to where the more I take, the better it is. And, you know, you go from this to some, you know, I'm flowing my hair uh, very quickly. Not, right? All things in nature kind of follow a logarithmic pattern, right? Where you can see much better benefits uh, initially uh, but then obviously you get diminishing returns, you start to uh, plateau a little bit. And so if you took a little bit more, you should still be kind of in that logarithmic growth before it kind of plateaus type space. And then that's going to bring us to the next question <laughs> they're going to ask. What does that mean? Is that three in the morning and three in the evening? Yeah. Is that you should you could be fine doing that? I wouldn't recommend much more than that um, again. Okay. Right, because really the, the, the power in this is in the longevity, not in the dose. Um, it is in that longevity, especially when you're dealing with hair follicles, which have a longer turnover time. Again, we're talking on the magnitude of 
you know, that, that telogen stage is one to four months typically, right? And so as you kind of do that, it, it takes a while. Longevity is far more important than dosage in this. Well, and that, that was a question that was asked in the chat about, um, you know, if you start to see ha hair growth, do you need to take it forever? And so you kind of answered that, but with the different stages, you would need to continue to feed that in those different stages, right? Yeah, and this is where I, I people always ask, do I need to take it, do I need to take it forever? Um, in, the in the natural world, the answer is always going to be yes. Your body is a giant factory that takes in raw materials and the output is energy, right? That's, that's really what we are. We're just a giant factory that consumes stuff and the output is energy, cellular energy, right? It allows us to move and to think and to do all those types of things. Um, that is the basis. And so you could imagine where people are like, hey, I take it once, I'm good. Uh, no, the, again, that's usually plastic surgery, um, right? It's the equivalent of saying, if you, eat this, if you eat this magical bean, you'll never be hungry again. Uh, run away from those types of beans, right? Like typically we see everything in nature requires cyclical movements and you have to constantly nourish that. And so that, that is one, again, I don't like the word forever supplement. I look at it as a replenishable nutrient that we constantly have to replenish. Well, that's a really good way to look at it because obviously if we want to get in shape, we know that takes a certain amount of effort, but it, you know, you can't get in shape and stay there. You, yeah. you know, there's going to be maintenance. You can't take a shower and say, okay, I'm clean. I'm done. You know, yeah, yeah. It's certain things, they just go on. Yeah, yeah. Other, other than that awkward tattoo I have on my lower back that seems to stay forever, everything else seems to go away. No, I'm just kidding. I don't have any tattoo on my lower well, back. I'm just addressing a few of the other questions before we move on. But um, March 1st, where will it be launched? And then what are the plans for the other countries? Yes. So March 1st, it is launching in the United States. We will be able to do NFR into Canada. Now, the reason is, is usually we like to give a timeline as well of when the product will be Canada. These little buggers, uh, because they are utilizing literally a novel ingredient, we had to work through a variety of different government agencies to get this approval because it is such a unique extract from that banana flower that you have to go through different safety and stuff. We've done that for the US. There is no immediate time, how uh, unfortunately, for it to be on the ground in Canada. Um, so it'll be just a not for resale product um, because it does require, it's not us registering an already known ingredient. This is a, an award-winning patented novel ingredient in the United States. And so uh, it will be very initially in the United States, most likely to follow in Australia and Europe, and then eventually into Canada. Wow. There's there's quite a few questions in the chat that are discussing certain conditions, um, certain diagnoses, medical conditions that we know can usually lead to loss of hair. A couple of people have mentioned, um, you know, treatment for cancer and things when people can lose their hair. And I'm sure with just all the questions going in there, I'm sure this is going to be a question that's going to come up often. And, and how would you answer those? Yeah. Again, with those types of uh, general, uh, or I don't want to say general, those types of specific instances, it's tough to speak on, right? And again, right, when you talk about like chemotherapy, the reason that is, is because chemotherapy is designed to attack vastly dividing cells. That's this, right? So um, individuals who are going through specific medical conditions like that, I just usually recommend them to contact their health uh, care professional and see what they recommend. Right, because it's just a completely different thing than what the average healthy person is going through. Yeah. And, the, and, and it's so hard because everyone is very unique, especially when you're going through certain health challenges like that, just contact your healthcare professional. Um, but again, uh, if you're going through cancer treatment, I understand the challenges with the hair, but it, we did not design it for that type of. What about ages? Uh, it's designed for 18 plus. Okay, very good. And walk us through a timeline of about a year. Say you've got a, a group of people, what, if, what can they expect month one, quarter one, two, three, four, What's, yeah. what's happening at the end of a year with a product like this is it just continues to work with those cycles of growth. Yeah. So there's two avenues that we have, right? As we kind of work through this, one is you're going to have the natural cycle of individuals uh, where you lose hair. So you might be diminishing the rate at which that hair loss is happening. Um, additionally, as we saw, right, we saw 34 to a 34% increase in hair density to where individuals can also see thicker, fuller hair. Um, and so as that goes uh, over the course of a year, again, speaking my goal, or I'm giving my mathematical thing of how nature usually works, right? This logarithmic, 
you will start to kind of plateau of where you see that benefit that's happening. Um, and that's because you've largely fulfilled the mechanism for that type of hair loss that's happening. And so, uh, but it'll be that kind of that maintenance thing that's happening. And I would estimate probably around month six is where that kind of result is. And then you're in maintenance mode. Okay. So then from that point forward, really, you're not going to start, your hair's not going to get so thick, you know, it just like takes over. Yeah, we're not revivaling the great 1980s movie Teen Wolf, if that's what you're worried about. <laughs> well, speaking uh, of that, how does it know not to put it that, that here? Was, that's been, I've noticed in people's uh, hair. That's probably the want... most frequent question. And this is what marvels. I don't want hair going out my ears. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is where you, we are in science that is crazily, we still don't know. There's, there's a lot of things that we see every day and we really have no understanding yet of how it works. It, it, it's mind boggling, right? We didn't even know about Teutonic plates until about 35 years ago. We were just wondering what was going on, right? The same holds true. DHT, right, the thing that causes baldness is also does the opposite. So, uh, for example, people are like, so if I take this to help prove hair growth, is it, am I going to start seeing like this? No, 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 no. It's actually a little bit of the opposite. And so, you know, you might have a little bit less hair in that area, uh, in those different areas. This this part yeah. runs by itself compared to the rest of the body, this right? Body it is me. actually one of the most emerging parts in biology right now of knowing how do certain areas of the body know where to be? And so it was a good portion of what I did my work on, right? How does this cell know where to be this cell and what's up from down? And so uh, it is a fascinating part of science. We still don't know yet, but this works much different than this. So we really don't know how yet. You gotta well, love, the, love the human body. That's, that's sure. good to know because, you know, too much plucking, you know, that's just- uh, <laughs> yeah, Yep, so you should be fine. But for, but for the male pattern, pattern baldness, it's- This it is- help with that. Yeah, this is largely the typical route that is and helps with that, right? Um, and a little bit of a side note for individuals with prostate, it's a great uh, prostate uh, support with that as well. Really? Yes. That, now that's another question I wanted to find out. Are there any other benefits other than hair? Yeah, um, so we haven't looked specifically at that, but uh, DHT is the primary responsibility of kind of that, that prostate uh, challenges that people see later in life. And so it's a great support for that as well. That's incredible. Well, and then just to connect it again with collagen, because I saw a question, you know, the collagen, of course, has the biotin, and we've noticed um, just with a lot of testimonials with hair, but now to actually have the hair product with hair revival, um, what is it in the hair revival that takes collagen to another level? I mean, they're, they're great together, but what takes it to the next level? Where yeah. someone say, oh, well, I'm taking collagen, I don't need the hair revival. Completely understandable. And so when we look at this, collagen is like the bricks to the building. And what this is doing is it's making sure we're not bulldozing those bricks as frequently. And so we're needing both mechanisms. Our body is turning over, right, to where we can grow that. And that collagen is largely the support material. And so this is making sure that the resources are allocated to more effectively build that building. And um, it's, I wish I could have a simpler way of doing it, but it's really saying, hey, we got all the structural components, the bricks, but we're also needing to make sure we have the energy and we're directing the vehicles to actually construct those bricks. So the hair revival is largely directing some of that energy to go into our hair. Uh, and the collagen is providing that structural component to make sure it, it does it as powerfully as possible. Nice. Well, and I know, I, and I can't remember if you said this in the very beginning, but I think this is important just from a business building perspective um, is that the supplement area for hair, isn't it one of the, is the fastest growing? It is one of the fastest, if not the fastest, it is absolutely taking off. And, and, and it's not just to, you know, the Michael Klauses and the doctor plants of the world where we're just hoping to still have something flow in our midlife crisis mobiles, right? That's not the case. It's actually the fastest growing segment of this is in, is women in their twenties. And uh, where really? they're looking to have thicker hair. Yeah. So that's uh, my daughter. I'm telling you, she's 23 years old and she was all <laughs> over it. And I was able to share a testimonial of one of the leaders in our group that said in just a matter in the last since um, NYKO, so about a month, just how much bright, um, shinier, stronger. She said she could tell a dramatic difference in her hair. So I shared that with my daughter and she said, okay, that's all I needed to hear. And I'll take those tablets, <laughs> you know, four of them twice a day. So I can definitely speak for that for my 20 year old daughter. It's all yeah. about their hair. Yeah. Yeah. 
something else. Uh, and I see if something pop up here, stress related. For individuals that are looking specifically at the stress for that, I'd recommend this, uh, obviously with the D adaptogen elixir. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very, very nice. So who's the market? You're the person who kind of put this together. Mm -hmm. Who should we be talking to about this? I mean, the simple question yeah, yeah. should be anybody so, that has hair, but. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so mammals. Individuals with hair, uh, you know, so it's the biggest demographic we've ever conquered. No, so there's a couple of things. One is it's not like, as I said before, the, the Michaels and Joshes of the world who are just hoping to get a few more like years out of our midlife crisis, but it's also for individuals who are looking to get thicker hair, right? And we don't think about this a lot, but the, you know, women and men and very much, this is a, the center of our confidence, right? We can usually, you know, put on the jacket and, and hike up the pants a little bit and put on, you know, a Spanx or something to hide the insecurities that live under our clothes. But this, it's not as easy. And so it's a real way of kind of setting that, that first impression. You know, this is the smile more often than not that people see first. And so it's helping individuals have that confidence that much more. And it's not just for individuals who are losing hair, but realizing the amount of damage that they put towards their hair each and every day, whether it be the swimming, the coloring, the blow drying, the, you know, the shampooing, the, the whatever, that they are doing it as a way of also preventative uh, uh, health uh, for the hair. Wow. I wow. love, I love the confidence aspect. I mean, just the, emotion, <coughs> you know, the emotion that is attached to that and what we're able to give people to have that confidence. And, you know, we're able to help people look better and feel better, but even have that, that confidence with their hair, whether they're younger or older, or whether they're male or female. And I would just recommend, you know, for all of us to just start putting those little teasers out, you know, on your social media, when you're talking with people, you never know who's watching the other day, I was talking about collagen yeah. on my on my Instagram stories and just talking about what I felt like it was doing for my skin, hair, and my nails. And I said, oh, by the way, we have this product coming. And I got three different messages. And one of them was for, from someone who had never purchased from me before, purchased the collagen now, and she's first on my list for hair revival. So people are really, they're like, what? What do you have? Because it's something kind of new and unique. Um, they're not really hearing that. There's some different collagen out there, of course, not like ours but you really connect that in with hair revival, we've got a real winner here. And I just want you to think that it's not just a supplement in a bottle. This is a really big deal that we really believe thousands of new people will pour into Isogenics. Yeah, we're excited. March can't come soon enough. What's the launch date again? March 1st. That's fantastic. March 1st, you wanna mark your calendars and we're gonna be doing another interview with the amazing Dr. Gump. And then we also have another interview with Sarah Richter um, with Kathy Savage right before the launch to really help you with verbiage and things. So you're really going to want to stay tuned with Revival University, where we're beginning sharing lots of helpful tips and hints um, for really understanding this amazing product, how to really guide people in and attract people in, what to say, and, and how to really lead with this amazing product. Yeah, and just to kind of bring it on home and kind of wrap this up, you know, if you had 30 seconds or a minute to just share with a prospect about this product, what would you, what would you leave them with? What would you want them to know in that just short period of time? Yeah, uh, what, what do I want them to know or how would I myself pitch it? How would you present it? Yes, what would yeah. you share with someone that causes them to say, okay, give me that? Yeah. We, we get out of the morning each and every day and we apply lotion to our skin. And what are we doing to actually nourish the hair? The thing that we beat up time and time again and utilizing a patented novel extract. Here is something that will help you decrease the rate of hair loss and also increase new hair growth to help you feel more confident and throughout the day. Wow. Love it. Wow. And then we want to give them the opportunity to actually experience it. So not a 30 day, that's not the deal. We want to say, get, get on this for 90 days and then make up your own mind. Yeah. That's fair. Yep. So uh, I don't know if we're talking about collections or not yet. I, I don't know. I don't know the proper strategy. I'm kind of like a little bit of a wild, wild west out here. But yeah, I, we, I, we I pretty think much it's good to kind of put it out there. Why not? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So we're, we're, we're in essence launching this season as a one month collection or a two month collection, meaning Obviously you just get a bottle by itself if you want, or you can get two bottles, right? And then likewise, either one bottle with 30 days supply of collagen or two bottles with 60 days supply of collagen. And those are really where we're at. We're, it's a one month supply of better or two months supply of better <laughs> or a one month supply of best and a two month supply of best. Wow, that's Set, gonna be exciting. Setting us up for success.
Well, that's going to bring in a whole new group of people for absolutely for sure, because there are people out there by, they're just looking for something to keep this. Yeah. Thank you so much, Dr. Plant, for working so tirelessly and giving us, because you guys, this, just a little hint there, this is just the tip of the iceberg of what's coming in 2022 with innovation and with what Dr. Plant and the team has been working on. And let's really show them what we're able to do with Hair Revival. Right. Um, yeah. Because they've been working really hard there at the corporate. Yeah, this is the first, as I said, we've got, we've got four great things happening very quickly. And so the success of the second largely depends on the, one, the previous. And so we are looking to kind of get into some absolute momentum over the next seven, eight months. And we have four very orchestrated, concentrated, patterns to do that and march 1st is the first of it so we're really excited for it wow. All right, 2022 yeah. is going to be a year looking forward Absolutely. to seeing you soon dr plan thank you for your time thank all of you for tuning in and yeah, now make, make sure your teams get this again the recording will be in revival university um in the next 24 hours so you can watch it again beautiful Thanks, right, thank dr. you Plant. take care bye-bye